You are now watching Dr. Fu's lab. Welcome to the lab, folks. This is tutorial one. The level is intermediate. The program is Adobe Illustrator, and today we're going to be learning how to create your own Illustrator brushes. I'm your host, Afua Richardson, comic book artist and illustrator, and I find creating your own brushes is really helpful in comics, illustration, and graphic design. This is a personal secret that I use for my very own comic books. This enables me to have an organic look while still working in a vector program. All right, let's get started. Make sure your toolbar is visible. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Tools. Mine's already selected over here on the left side, so let's get started. First, we're going to create the shape of our brush and the color. To select the color, go to your Fill or press X if you're on a Mac as a shortcut. Double click that and you'll see your options. I usually like to use black when creating a brush. Press OK. Now on your toolbar, select the pen tool or press P. Now bring your cursor over to the middle of your artboard and click. Now while pressing shift, you can drag your cursor horizontally on another point on the screen and that will create a straight line, like so. Without lifting your pen, Pull and drag the edge of your line so that anchor points appear. You'll start to create an arc. The lower you pull, the higher the angle of your arc will be. In the center of that line is the edge of your object. Click the box that appears there once you're satisfied with the height of your brush shape. Now go back to the original point that you created and repeat, closing the shape. Now go to your selection tool or press V. You'll know your object is selected when you see the box appear around it. Grab the corners and start to push and pull until you're happy with the shape. But me personally, I like to have my brushes skinny. If you'd like to, grab a corner and drag while pressing shift to scale the size of your brush. Now while this is selected on your right hand side, go to brushes and press the downward facing arrow to expand the menu. Now select new brush. We're going to create a new art brush. Press OK. Now our options come up. I'm going to rename my brush something memorable. Foo Ink number one. The direction default is from left to right. You can choose right to left, up or down, but for right now, we'll just use left to right. The colorization method we'll use is tints. This enables you to change the color of the brush, which is really handy later. Press OK. Now over here on the right side, your brush should appear at the bottom. To select your brush, simply click on it, and whatever object is selected will have the stroke applied. It's really important to save your brushes. At the bottom of your brush tab, go over to Brush Libraries menu and select Save Brush Libraries. Here you can name your brush library so you can access it later. I've named mine Afua's Arsenal. Press Save. To load your library later, go to Brushes, expand the menu, then scroll down to Open Brush Libraries. Go to User Defined, and you should see your library appear right in the menu. All right, so let's test this out. On your toolbar, select your brush tool. Let's deselect this first. Go to Select and Deselect. Now go down to your fill over here, and let's turn off the fill so we just see the stroke. I'm working with a Wacom, so this looks a little bit more like freehand. You can change it to whatever you want by selecting brush. I have an inky looking brush, charcoal, uh, and something a little bit more of an ink quill. I use this a lot in my comics. You wanna see? All right, hold on. Here I have a panel from Genius, a comic that I'm working on for Top Cow. And you can see them at work. Now this has a lot more of an organic feel than just a regular blunt edge. You can change the size by going to stroke, expanding the button, and making it larger or smaller. This has really enabled me to create the look that I want in my comics. I hope this helps. Later, Vedas. This concludes tutorial one on how to create your own illustrator brushes. To see this and other tutorials, Visit afuarichardson.com Thank you for listening